In this tutorial, we'll cover a number of tools located in the Manage suite of icons that do not really relate to each other, but they are useful for managing different aspects of the modeling operations. We shall cover Delete, Set First Point, Reverse, Convert Object Type, Extract Controls, Object Doctor, Point, Ghost, and Unghost. The remaining tools in the Manage suite are covered in other tutorials. With the Delete tool, you can delete an object or parts of objects. It can also be used to delete lights, guides, and views. Here we create four objects, two cubes, a cylinder, and a vector line. With the Delete tool selected, simply click on the first cube. It is deleted immediately. Now delete a top segment of the second cube. Remember to press the Command Can Mac or the Control Key on Windows to pick parts of objects. Next, we delete the curved face of the cylinder. Finally, we delete a point in the vector line. Note that this resulted in the deletion of two segments and the vector line is broken in two. We can also use the Delete key on the keyboard to do the same operation. With the Pick tool, select the entire column. Then Shift pick a face on the 3D wall and a segment of the pyramid. Don't forget about pressing the Command Can Mac or the Control Can Windows to pick just a part of an object. Now press the Delete key and observe the result. Note that in the previous two examples we showed that the deletions can be done using the pre-pick or post-pick methods. Next is the Set First Point tool and it allows you to reposition the first point of closed shapes. Create a 2D rectangle. To make the first point visible, activate the Show First Point option in the Display Options palette, which you invoke from the Display pull-down menu. The first point is now visible and we're able to see it better by switching to wireframe mode. With the Set First Point tool active, click on the point you want to make the first point. Why would you want to move the first point? Well, because its position affects some operations. For example, when lofting between a number of shapes, it is important that the first point of these shapes line up, otherwise a twisted object will be generated. Next is the Reverse Direction tool. Here we have a 2D rectangle. To see the direction in which a surface object is drawn, turn on the Show Directions inside the Display Options palette. Observe the direction arrows are going clockwise. To reverse them, simply click on the rectangle with the Reverse Direction tool selected. How is this operation useful? More or less the same way as the Set First Point is. Using again the lofting example, when you loft a number of shapes, you want their direction to be consistent. If they are not, this tool will correct them. With 3D solids, the reverse direction tool basically turns them inside out. Here we create a polygon and a copy in shaded work display mode. With the reverse direction tool active, click on the right polygon and observe the difference. We can also use the Show Face Normals option inside the Display Options dialog to see the directions of the faces that are reversed. Next we discuss the Convert Object Type tool. When possible, this tool converts one type of an object to another. We create a torus and make a copy. With the Convert Object Type tool, click on the right torus. This invokes the Convert Options dialog. Listed at the top is the current object and model type. In the Convert to Field from the Model Type pull-down menu, select Faceted. As you do, note that the Convert to Object Type field automatically changes from torus to plain object. Click OK to exit the dialog. Observe the smooth torus on the left and the faceted version on the right. Next we'll convert a revolved object to a NURBS object. Here we have a vase. Once you click on it with the Convert Object Type tool, choose NURBS Object from the Convert to Object Type field and exit the dialog. We now have a NURBS object that we can edit with the Reconstruct NURBS Surface tool located in the Surfaces suite. Extract Controls is next and is used to extract controls from controlled parametric objects. We have four objects, a torus, a revolved object, a NURBS object, and a swept object. With the Extract Controls tool selected, click on each of them and observe the result. The torus has no controls because nothing happened when you clicked on it. As for the remaining objects, the Extract Controls tool extracted their original source shapes. 
With the Object Doctor tool, you're able to diagnose faults an object may possess and then have them corrected if possible. This is accomplished through the Tool Options palette that contains three tabs, General, Faceted, and Smooth, each of which contains a number of faults applicable to the respective category. You turn on those items for which you wish the tool to check. For this example, generate a cube and delete any face on the cube. Now select the Object Doctor tool and in its Tool Options palette select the Missing Faces option from the General tab and click on the cube. The Object Doctor tool selected our deleted face. If we want to repair the fault, which is the missing face, all we have to do is reapply the Object Doctor tool to the cube with the Fix If Possible option active. Note that the default Add to Selection option was active a moment ago when the tool simply highlighted the missing face. Let's do one more example with the Object Doctor tool. We take the cube and move a top segment over to create a triangle. At first, it looks like the top face has been deleted and that only one segment and two corner points remain. In reality, we have a condition of duplicate points. This time, let's diagnose our object for any duplicate points. In the Faceted tab, select the Duplicate Points option. Also, check the Display Results option. Clicking on the triangle invokes the Object Doctor Results dialog. We can see that two duplicate points were found. Because the Fix If Possible option was still active from before, the problem has been corrected. To verify this, click OK and exit the Object Doctor Results dialog and click on the object again. Observe that the number of duplicate points is now zero. The Draw Point tool is used to generate point objects with a single click. They can be picked, moved around, and deleted. They're mostly useful as markers in a variety of situations. We conclude this managed tutorial with a discussion of the Ghost and Unghost tools. Generate a cube. Then click on it with a Ghost tool active, and the object is now ghosted. A ghosted object is a temporarily inactive object that retains all its properties but cannot be picked or involved in any operation. Ghosted objects may or may not be displayed depending on the Hide Ghosted option in the Display Options palette. When this option is deselected, ghosted objects are shown in a different color from the active objects, which by default is a light gray. As you may have guessed, the Unghost tool is used to retrieve ghosted objects. It's the only tool capable of picking ghosted objects. To unghost, click in the cube with the unghost tool active. Also, there are certain operations in Bonsai 3D that may result in ghosted objects. One example is the difference tool found in the Booleans suite. This tool requires two intersecting objects and carves the second object picked out of the first one picked. Here we generate a sphere intersecting our cube. The difference tool produces a new object for the result and ghost the original objects. Here we reactivate the sphere with the unghost tool, then move it to show how the cube has been carved. Observe that we can also ghost and unghost items from the objects palette. Simply click on the icon in the second column to ghost, unghost, or hide the object in that row. And this concludes the Bonsai 3D Manage Tutorial.